Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to build the interior of the castle. And let me just show you what I've done. I've started a little bit and this is going to be like the main hall, right? So this is how it is going to look. We have these quartz pillars going up and we're going to have some hanging fences right here going along and you can stand on top of this and you can also go up here. This over here will be the throne. I'm not sure how to build that yet, but we will figure it out. And in here, we're going to have like small passageways to go up into the tower. Probably going to do something around here as well. Going to look really cool. And I've sectioned it off right here. I think we're going to have a wall. And then you'll have the option to walk behind it. And we'll have something over here. And of course, you can go into the little garden. And as you can see up here, I also... We section this off a little bit. This is gonna be the dining hall. I think it's gonna look cool. And in one of these sides right here, we're gonna have sort of the kitchen area, the place to come in. This is gonna be a little walkway. We're also gonna connect this up and we're gonna have a wall right here. It'll look cool. And then of course we need to figure out something with the bedrooms. And thinking up here, we're gonna experiment with putting in some windows. And down here, I think the service quarter should be servant quarters. I think it's called actually. That's probably gonna be here, and we're gonna have some, maybe a little meeting room or something like that. Of course, we have the war tower, the mage tower as well, and the bee farm tower, the herbalism tower. We're gonna do something in here as well. But before we get started with it, as you can see up in the right corner, I have a little symbol. And that's because I've been farming the uh, wither skeletons for about a week now, for about 20-30 minutes each day. And today, the final skull finally dropped. So how about we take a little look at how that went. <gasps> Guys, look! Oh, it finally dropped! Yes! And look, we already have two. There we go. Let's go and kill us a little wither. Oh yeah. As you can see, we have some healing potions, some regen, some night vision, got some golden carrots and apples. We also got some ender balls and a shield with unbreaking. And I brought a lot of milk. Uh, I think we're gonna enclose the wither in an obsidian box. It's been a long time since I've done this, so I'm not sure how to do this, but well, and we have some other stuff in our inner chest as well. But we need to find a place where we can kill it. Oh, it's getting night time. I think we will go underground somewhere. Uh, I don't want to do it here in case it breaks out and I don't want it to destroy the castle. That would be a sad part. So where can we do it? No, well, let, let's fly this way and see if we can find a mountain. I think this is a good place to start. Our base is right over here. And I saw this little hole in the ground. Shall we go down and take a look? Any bad guys? No? Okay. Well, let's take down guys and set up this with a killing chamber. I think we are all set now. I made this little room over here with our bed. Let's... Oh, it's night time. How nice. But as you can see on my little parts down here, we have everything we need. I think this should be good. I'm not sure though. We're gonna give it a go. I put some more stuff over in uh, the other chest. As you can see, we found some diamonds down here. Right over here, actually. And got a little emeralds. Nice as well. Let's hope this is, this is going to work. Uh, I hope so. So here we have the chamber, right? It's just four by four. Oh, no, it's actually only three tall. Oh, I don't know. That is going to be trouble. Okay. okay. Well, there's only one way of finding out. Like that and that, right? And then we have this, this. Oh, just the last one. Are we ready? Are we actually ready? Let's go. Oh, run away, run away, run away. Yes, yes, yes. What is he doing? Why can't I hit him? Do I need to go in? 
Oh, this is actually not too bad, guys. I think we're doing well. Let's just keep going. Can we do it? Yes. This is a lot easier than the Ender Dragon. Come on. One more. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Look at that. We can get a beacon. So nice. But we didn't even need all this stuff. Huh. Well, that's kind of disappointing. I'm gonna drink it anyways. Why not? Now that we have made it all. Bloop. We did it. We killed the wither for the first time. Yeah. Good job, guys. Oh, let's go home and make a beacon. I'm excited for this. Home sweet home. Here we are. Let's go ahead and make this little beacon. Oh, where is the... Oh, no. Have I lost it? Ah, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's try this out. This is how you do it, right? Oh, there it is. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. I think I'm going to use it as a lamp. <laughs> no, I'm not, of course. <laughs> well, at least not until we have more of them. Then I might do it. Now, how about that, huh? Now we have a little beacon. Oh, that's cool. You didn't think I could kill that, huh? Of course I can. I am the pro of killing with us. Actually, it, it was a lot easier than I thought. But hey, I ain't complaining about that. As you can see, this is actually our war tower. And I've been decorating it a little bit. I decided that, well, we're not gonna actually have, like, the maps. But we had this right here. This is sort of an area of the, well, the surrounding surrounding lands and this might be a castle or something I don't know <laughs> uh, it was just a little idea and these are houses or something I think it's kind of cool then the people can sit here and discuss what to do and we have some armor stands up here as decorations I think that's really cool and these right here we're gonna put some string under it so it can grow that far down but I think it's kind of cool and then we have two stairways one going up here and this going out to this area kind of cool and then we can take this one over here and we can go up to the second level this is sort of a storage area so here we store all of the ammunition for on top and we also have some chest crafting bench a little map thingy and of course we can go out here onto the bridge which is kind of nice you can look out and if we go up to the last top floor we have this these are cannons. Aren't they cool? Oh, that, that popped off. Let's just pop. <laughs> but yeah, this is how uh, they look. I think they're kind of kind of cute. Is that what you can call a a cannon? Yeah. And we have some armor stands as well. Maybe the people need some more armor up here. I think this turned out really well. Now I think we should take a little break from our castle over here I don't know why but I've had a bit of trouble uh, coming up with ideas and kind of finishing them inside here I think we just need to take a little break from it and that's fine that's why we're over here at this area if you remember a couple of episodes ago I suggested that maybe we could turn this into an amphitheater combined with a little training ground or something like that I think that could be super cool. So that's what we're going to do here. Now, we could use our beacon and pickaxe to mine this out. But where is the fun in that when you can make TNT? So I think we should blow this up. And we're going to push it into the mountain and sort of carve it up to about right there, I think. And then we're going to create some stuff in here. Some seating areas, a training ground away from the people to get down here as well. Maybe do something over here. Could be nice with a little custom tree. Oh, lots of ideas. But let's start exploding. So we have loaded up the mountain with a lot of TNT. And I think this is going to give us a nice and big explosion. So how about we start testing this out? I have my little detonator right here. So... Oh, let's run away. Oh, I see now what? Yes! Look at that! Oh, yeah! It's working great! What? That didn't set off. Oh. 
That turned out great. I love this. So much fun. Let's do some more. Run away, wanna ring? I think this turned out pretty well. We can do some fun things in here with some experiments. Think of having some cages with some animals in here. Maybe we could imagine them being wild animals. Oh, it's gonna be cool. As you can see over here, I've just worked a little bit on the seating area. And we have two levels right here. These are, uh, well, weren't it actually like the rich people back then? They uh, sat in front and the poor people, they sat on top. Although I do think these seats are a lot better. Let's just take a little look. Oh, it's nice. And we have a little tree as well. We need some greenery over here. Uh, I'm thinking as well that we're gonna put one maybe up here. I've put out a little placement holder over here. Uh, not sure how we are gonna do that. I'm actually also thinking about using this space for the royal people. So they can like sit up here and look down on the poor people. I think that could be a fun idea. But we also need the shades that go over. And I sort of, sort of thought of some designs. They're gonna be uh, about this width. And then we're gonna place them sort of one there. Maybe one here, one there. We're gonna have an, a diagonal run right there. And then we should have some over here as well. So we get some nice shade from the harsh sun. Down here we're gonna build like a little sort of fighting area with some targets. In here is gonna be the big show, I think. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Super excited to build this. Let's get working on these shades. So this is how the shades are looking right now. I think they turned out great. Sort of have that overhang and now a little colors right here. And I've been doing some work around here as well. Oh, look at this. Super cool. So I thought about doing some farmland up here and I thought it was a, a fun idea, so why not? And we had some more shades over here, added in some more custom trees just to give it some atmosphere. And we have the fighting area down here as well. As you can see, I've just set up some dummies over here where you can shoot your arrows, target blocks up here. Uh, this was supposed to be a sort of torch kind of thing. I think it's kind of fun, but maybe if we can get a play. Jesus Christ, well, while I put that back on. Maybe we can get a player head for for this one right here. Maybe a zombie or a creeper one. And we can make it look like a little person throwing like a what? A burning stone maybe. Could be kind of fun. And in here I've just added some decoration up here. It's holding it, this up. And we are going to do something with this place. I think that will be for the next episode. Oh yeah, and the detailing for this, as you can see, I've mixed in sand with uh, just grass. This is brown concrete and green concrete. I've taken some moss carpets and some moss blocks. Just mix, mixed it uh, all around right here. Sort of resembling muddy ground or stuff like that. Of course, we have some blood on the ground. <laughs> I think that's kind of a cool detail. And then we have this over here. Nice little way to get up as well. And put in a little sort of lookout area up here. Kind of cool. I experimented with putting some fireplaces up here. I thought it would look cool. But it just looks like the fields are on fire. So, <laughs> so maybe we should put them out. I don't know. I think I'll let it, let it stay for now. Then we can take a look at it in the next episode. But yeah. Oh, I like this area. It's cool. We need to do some more. But that will be in the next episode, and we will focus on this area. Do some more terraforming and decoration. Oh, it's gonna be great. But that is all we have time for, for this episode. I think we, we did get a lot done. Although we didn't do as much interior decoration as we might have thought. But we can always come back to it. That's the great part. Next time, we're gonna finish up this area. But until that time, guys, 
I do hope that you enjoyed watching. And if you did, be sure to leave a little comment and a like on the video. And if you really, really liked it, be sure to subscribe to the channel. But until the next time, guys, see ya.